Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the charming city of Charlestown where history meets modern living. That's right, we're here to be your virtual tour guides, sharing all the inside scoop on Charlestown, helping you decide if this delightful place should be your next home. Charlestown offers a unique blend of history, nature, and an adventure. In an ideal location just 60 miles from Washington DC and about 70 miles from Baltimore. If you visited Charlestown or currently live there, we would love to hear from you. What are your favorite places to visit? Did we miss any in our video? We love hearing from our viewers, so comment below or send us a message. First, let's talk about the exciting housing options in Charlestown. The average home prices here are quite reasonable with new construction homes averaging around 403,000 and resale homes at around 398,000. And if you're looking for townhomes, you're in luck. Whether it's a new townhome or resale, you can find them for around 285. Now, if you're leaning towards a single family home, Charlestown offers some great choices. Single family homes, whether they're new or resale, typically range from 425,000 to around 450,000. Expect to get closer to 500,000 or above for a home with acreage and then add a little bit more on top if it's also a newer home. Builders currently breaking ground in Charlestown include Wormold Homes and DRB Homes. And there are some local builders that offer smaller scale or custom projects that we can connect you with. Wormold pricing as of this filming date is in the 500s to 600,000. The DRB Homes currently have options ranging from the mid 200s all the way up to the 600s. And they have new communities on the horizon as well. If you'd like a list of the current new construction options in the area, send us a message. It can be hard to parse through the information online and figure out what's actually available and being built, so we can give you the scoop on that. Now let's talk about availability. Homes in Charlestown tend to move pretty quickly with an average of just 28 days on the market. So you don't necessarily need to run out to see a house the first weekend. It lists, but if it's a more unique property or you have a hard deadline, you won't want to wait long, especially when we're still in a low inventory market like we are now. Yeah. All in all, Charlestown has a range of housing options that can fit various budgets. And with its charming atmosphere and proximity to major cities, it's a place worth considering. Cheers to that. Now let's go over taxes, as this is a big deciding factor for many home buyers. We're not tax professionals and there are a lot of factors that influence your tax rate, especially in West Virginia, mm -hmm. but we will go through the minimum rates for 2023 here as a basis for comparison. Now Charlestown rates will depend on if you are in the district or the corporation area of Charlestown, but when we went back and looked at what the tax rates were on paper, it looks like Charlestown is a lot higher than Loudoun for the per $100 of value of your home. Mm -hmm. So you need to keep in mind that you need to compare a comparable home in Charlestown versus Loudoun. All right, so taking just some real world examples, we looked at some sold homes that were at $500,000 to see what the tax rates were from the last year. The rates were between 1,400 and 2,700. Now, if we're being conservative, we're gonna compare that to approximately an $850,000 home in Loudoun. Annual taxes there would range between $5,800 and $7,400. Yeah. Now, for viewers getting close to 65 and up, you will want to look into the Homestead Exemption. This is a program that provides tax savings for residents who have lived in the state and in the same house for the last two years. That's true when we're filming this in late 2023, but be sure to check the qualifications at the time that you're viewing. Absolutely. And for more nitty gritty details, on how to navigate your home closing and delays or errors in the tax information, we may have a few tips based on her experiences. More than a few, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if you found this video helpful so far, do us a favor and like and subscribe. Or if there are any topics you'd like us to cover, put them in the comments. All right, now we're getting into the stuff people really want to know about. Oh yes, schools. We will share some objective data we have and point you in the direction for more research. Just know that we can't recommend schools or a school system as being good or bad. As a former teacher of seven years, I can say that experiences between different schools and different children can really vary family to family. Finding the right fit requires asking a lot of questions, wouldn't you say? Yes. Just to name a few, how big of a school do you want? How many students per teacher is ideal? What kinds of scores are students getting at different levels? Do you qualify for the HOPE Scholarship to get a grant for private school? The HOPE Scholarship is a unique program for West Virginia residents who want to opt out of the public school system. Students kindergarten and up can qualify for a scholarship to apply towards private school education. This is an amazing benefit, but know that there are certain requirements, including the number of days that a child needs to be in a public school in West Virginia before they're eligible, assuming they've been in school before. If your child is going into kindergarten, you can qualify for it right away. 
Speaking of kindergarten, please be aware that West Virginia's cutoff date for turning five before starting kindergarten in public school is July 1st, unlike Virginia, which is September 30th. Oh. Personally, we considered moving to West Virginia until we realized our incoming kindergartner would no longer qualify with her August birthday. This was a big deciding factor for us, but maybe down the road. Yep, now that you don't have to think about daycare costs anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> there are a variety of school options in the area, including 17 public schools total, four private schools, and then the charter school, Eastern Panhandle Preparatory Academy, that recently opened up in Kearneysville. This school is on a 30-acre rural campus and offers preschool through 11th grade currently. The two high schools for Charlestown include Washington High School and Jefferson High School. There are also four additional private schools in the nearby Berkeley County. So a number of options within a reasonable distance. Absolutely. And for those curious about elementary and middle school options, we've got comprehensive information to share as well. Just let us know and we'll provide you with many of the insights you need to make the best choice for your child's education. Ooh, next we get to talk about shopping and dining. When it comes to shopping for groceries in Charlestown, you're in for a treat. We've got a variety of options from large chains like Martins and Aldi to local gems like Bushel and Apec offering farm fresh delights locally grown and produced in the state. Absolutely. And for dining, the local restaurant scene is pretty vibrant. You'll find everything from cozy cafes to sizzling steakhouses. Plus, downtown Charlestown is brimming with attractions from historical sites to charming boutiques. So whether you're a foodie or a shopaholic, there's something special for everyone in this town. If you're someone used to shopping at major malls or the local Target or Costco, just know that you're going to be driving a bit further for these options. There's a Target in nearby Martinsburg and the closest Costco is just over the state line in Winchester, Virginia. So Target's a little closer than Costco. Yes, <laughs> that is the takeaway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's explore some of the fantastic events that make Charlestown a special place to be. First up, we have the thrilling Charlestown races and slots where you can experience the excitement of live horse racing and gaming year round. I remember seeing the lights from the races in the sky from my house growing up and thinking that they were alien spaceships <laughs> before my parents told me that it was just the racetrack. So definitely a focal point in the area. No aliens there as far as I've heard, but the venue also hosts music acts and comedy. Another staple of Charlestown community is the farmer's market. Here you can mingle with neighbors while enjoying all the delicious produce, baked goods, and artisan crafts. You won't want to miss the Charlestown Heritage Festival offering historical reenactments, live music, and delicious local cuisine for a nostalgic experience. That would be the perfect event for a potential resident to visit, wouldn't it? I would think so. That or the Jefferson County Fair. It's an amazing community event with thrilling rides, animals, live entertainment, and even a cornhole tournament. Ooh. I will not be entering that one. Me neither. <laughs> Last but not least, the city shines during Christmas in Charlestown with dazzling lights, festive parades, and the heartwarming holiday spirit. Mm. I can't wait for the Christmas parade this year. It kind of has a Hallmark movie vibe, right? I will not confirm nor deny. <laughs> If you're looking to stay for the weekend, there are a number of commercial hotels nearby as well as an assortment of bed and breakfasts like the Carriage Inn Bed and Breakfast or the Hillbrook Inn Restaurant and of course some short-term rental options. Definitely. Now we can't go on before addressing the big elephant in the room. What's that? Fiber optic internet options. Ooh. Yeah, in this charming town, fiber optic internet choices can be limited. There are a number of broadband and satellite options, and we have a list of providers that we always research when one of our clients is needing to telework. If you'd like our list of providers to help with your research, you can send us a message using our info listed below. Before you make a big move, it's essential to test and research your internet options thoroughly. Don't let limited options catch you by surprise. And don't just take someone's word for it that their internet options are adequate. There are a lot of questions you need to ask the homeowner in order to understand the internet capabilities. Better yet, test out the internet yourself during the home inspection if you can swing it. If you've been contemplating a move or just looking for a place with a perfect mix of old and new, Charlestown could just be the spot for you. From its rich history and strategic location to a mix of housing options and lively events, it truly is where the past meets the present. Absolutely. It's clear that Charleston offers a blend of charm and modern convenience that many seek in a home. And as always, if you have any questions or need more insights about Charlestown or any other locations, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help you make informed decisions. And we always love to play devil's advocate, so before you jump in the car, make sure to watch our video on the reasons not to move to West Virginia. Thanks for joining us. Until next time.